there, art nerds. We are on to day five of the Arteza art calendar. So let's go ahead and find out what's behind that shiny golden door. really excited to dive into day four but first I want to thank you guys for hanging out with me last Friday during our second Arteza Unbox and Swatch Art Kit live stream. I really appreciate it. The full live stream is still up if you want to hang out for three hours virtually or you can keep an eye out for the time lapse version that should be out sometime this week. So let's go ahead and take a look at door number five. It's about the same size as all the acrylic doors. And I'm gonna open day five and then we'll talk about what was in our prior doors. So behind door number five is a tube of pearl sapphire blue. So it's a metallic acrylic paint. And it is three stars or three pluses of light fastness. It is opaque and it doesn't give all the pigment information, but it does say that it is made with mica. So we have a very acrylics heavy advent calendar this year. And the door reads, acrylic metallic tube, pearl sapphire blue. Deck the halls with a beautiful painting of Christmas ornaments using your new pearl sapphire blue acrylic metallic tube. Its metallic finish is perfect for painting ornaments. See for yourself by joining countless artists from all over the world in today's challenge. Hashtag Arteza Holidays. I feel like it's countless because they just have no idea how many people are gonna be participating. So in day one, we got a pad of mini acrylic paper. And uh, that makes sense, we were getting a lot of acrylics. In day two, we got a size four round acrylic brush. It's a synthetic brush. In day three, we got a tube of red acrylic paint. In day three, we got a tube of yellow green acrylic paint. No, that's day four, sorry. And now we have a tube of metallic blue acrylic paint. So I'm seeing kind of a lot of the same stuff from the first Arteza uh, mix, mix, metallic mixed media art set. And uh, as a watercolor artist who doesn't particularly like acrylic, I'm a little bummed that we're not seeing more drawing supplies, more watercolor supplies, or a wider variety of art goodies. But if you enjoy acrylics or art challenges, this would probably be pretty fun. So speaking of art challenges, I'm not doing the art challenges until I have finished going through all 12 days, and then we're gonna do some of the art challenges together. So I hope you guys are looking forward to it. I am. Uh, so next is day six which honestly looks like it's gonna be another tube of acrylics, which, I don't know, that's just kinda of like, hmm, a little bit boring for me. I'd love it if it was anything else, something more interesting. What I was really hoping for was like a variety of art supplies, not just very acrylic-centric art supplies. Now, at the time of purchase, the things inside the box were listed on the site. They are also listed on that belly band that I removed on day one. I chose intentionally not to look at it, but so I could, I could have, and if you are buying this or thinking about buying this for somebody else, then that information is available and you can tailor it to their needs. But just as a watercolor artist who draws a lot and a comic artist, I would have liked to have seen a wider variety like I was hoping for some of those I think this is gonna be those wood cookies but I was hoping for a greater variety of different materials to just kind of play around with and inspire me having a bunch of acrylic challenges is not particularly inspiring and I don't actually like their acrylics very much so it's kind of like a, a double bummer I'm still waiting fingers crossed for that 24 day advent calendar to come in hopefully that has a wider variety of art supplies but still no word from Arteza so I guess global supply chain issues are to blame here and on that note if you opt to buy from small businesses small US based businesses you don't have to deal with the global supply chain issue so if you were thinking of buying books or comics this Christmas I've got a great bundle going on on the Natto shop right now you can get volume one and volume two of seven inch Carol for $35 so 
usually volume one is 15 and volume two is 25 since it's double the length. So you are saving math. You're saving a fair bit of money, and I promise I can get it to you before Christmas if you order soon. So if you are thinking of giving the gift of comics or books this Christmas to a young fan of art, then hopefully you will check out 7-Inch Kara. And Bo is trying to join me. So tomorrow is day six. I hope you guys will join me as we open up door number six together. So thank you guys for hanging out with me today. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys soon. Bye. He's a good boy. He a loud boy, but he's a good boy.